Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to the SQL database from our project. So this is the project from the past video. So I'm going to do some change here really quick because I want to eventually send the information to the database. So right here on the index, instead of using the person model, I'm going to use the fruit model. And then instead of username, I'm going to put the name, and then instead of city, I'm going to put the color. So the name and the color comes from the fruit model. So instead of city, I'm going to put color. And then I'm going to put a break right here in between. So now when I go to the home controller on the page two, Instead of receiving the person model, I'm going to change that to the fruit model. And then I'm just going to delete everything here for now. And then on my index, I'm going to delete these two things as well. And then finally, on my page two, I'm going to change this to fruits model. And then instead of username, I'm going to put name. Instead of city, I'm going to put color. So all I did is simplify this project. So when I run and then I have the name apple and the color red submit and then go to the second page apple and red so i just did a cleanup and simplified this to use only the fruit model now let's connect to the database so once you load the index you're gonna let the user to enter something and then from the index the user is gonna submit a fruit model and then eventually the foot model will end up right here. So at this point here, I want to get the foot model and send it to the database. So the first step is to connect to the database. So first, I'm going to read the connection string from the configuration. And then I'm going to create a SQL connection. And then finally, I'm going to open the connection. So I do have a red squiggly here. And to fix this, I'm going to hover over with the mouse, then show potential fixes. And I'm going to choose on using Microsoft.data.sql client. And that just adds this line for us. I know that this does not work yet because my connection string is not set up properly. So let's take a look on the app settings.json file. So first of all, this connection string is not safe at all. And the reason it's not safe is because the password is right here in clear text. That is not safe. But I'm going to use this just for learning purpose, just for simplicity purpose. So to connect to a database from your code, you're going to need pretty much four things. The password, the user ID, the database, and also the IP address of the server you're connecting to. Based on the previous video where I created the database, I remember that the password was ABC123. The user ID was fruit user and the database was fruits underscore db. The server is the IP address of where your server is installed. And the IP address of my server happens to be 192.168.1.200. Now to make sure that this is correct, I'm going to open the SSMS. And then I'm going to try to connect to the database. So my server name is the IP address. I want to use the SQL Server authentication. The login is fruit 
user and the password is ABC123. And I'm going to click on connect. That tells me that my SQL server is working, my credentials are working, and everything else is working. Now back to the code and everything looks correct. I'm going to close this thing and then I'm going to put a stopper right here and then I'm going to run the debugger. Click on submit. And now the stopper stopped the execution of the code. Now I can come here to the locals or to the auto and then I'm going to expand the connection and then I want to go to the state of the connection and I want to see open right here. So if the connection is open, that means this part of the code works fine. Another way for you to check that is just to hover over the connection, then expand the connection and then look over the states and see open. On the next video, I'm going to actually send the fruit module data to the database. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.